As scientists scramble to come up with answers to halt the novel coronavirus in its tracks, which is currently spreading fast and wide, new research is coming in by the day, opening up new possibilities and pointing new directions to look in. Yesterday, a paper was released that drew a link between a vaccine that many in India know all too well and the volume or intensity of COVID-19 cases and deaths around the world. Now, I have joining me today on Swaraja Standard, Govardhan Das. He is Professor of Molecular Medicine at Jawaharlal Nehru University and he is one of the top immunologists in the country. Professor, thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, Professor, what is the vaccine in question and what link has been drawn between it and COVID-19 cases and deaths around the world? See, COVID-19, the bug, the virus is right now causing the pandemic. um, It's a new new virus and in fact there is no uh, specific vaccine for it. However, the from the data coming uh, throughout the world actually the correlation data uh, mostly if you look at very carefully the countries where bcg been injected or immunized or vaccinated uh, where the prevalence of this disease is much less and the uh, uh, second lines of evidence so what could be BCG or mycobacteria like organisms may have given us the, some kind of immunity. Thus, there are a few lines of evidences. Number one, if you look at in our immune response, if you take out some blood and look at the different cytokines levels or the one which specifically actually protects from the viral infection or for that for many other uh, uh, infections, you see the basal level is uh, higher. So right. with compared to the countries like uh, US and uh, like uh, Italy or uh, UK. So that means our immune system is really having the basal level is higher. Right. And uh, second thing is those who are immunized, those who are exposed to mycobacteria or the mycobacteria rather I should say can induce several immune responses. For example, the production of type 1 interferons, which we know that are antivirals. For example, uh, in a viral infection, often type 1 interferons are given as a therapy. So therefore, what we believe actually, in fact, the BCG may or uh, may work or for that matter, if one can modulate BCG a little bit more towards the viral, uh, you know, mounting immune response towards the viral um, uh, clearance, that will be fantastic. So that is right. what we are. Right. We think actually BCG may work. In fact, l- looking at this last one week, several uh, journals and uh, in uh, you know news the different countries, various countries like Australia, Netherlands and Germany, they are already uh, ready for uh, 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 vaccination uh, with uh, BCG. And here I would like to point out another uh, point. BCG vaccination may not last very long. So therefore, probably we should go for the revaccination. In fact, these countries are going for the vaccination. In the same line, I can tell you, this is COVID, the victims are the zero to 10 years. There's so far no report of the death. And the more the ages, especially after 60s, the patients are much more vulnerable. Once again, suggesting that the when there is immune response is fading out, there is possibility of getting this disease. Right, right. Uh, Professor, obviously children in India are immunized with the BCG and as you have said, it gives us higher baseline immunity over the years. I'm interested in the effects of the vaccine as the decades go by. How protected are the elderly if they took a BCG shot, say, as a child? Well, I mean, as I mentioned, um, BCG uh, vaccine efficacy or the BCG immunity does not last for long. For example, for 
BCG is immunized uh, for the protection against tuberculosis. But we know that that when a protection, the immunity that protects uh, 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 b uh, against the TB, that doesn't last long. However, still we do not know the the protection against A virus or other diseases generated by the BCG, how long they uh, uh, they exist. So basically from here, at least we can see at least probably up to uh, maybe this guess, maybe little more than uh, you know what the uh, immunity against the uh, uh, mycobacteria or the TB. So, but certainly probably not up to uh, 60 years. Right, right. Professor, also you mentioned some countries who are fast tracking this uh, vaccine uh, and putting them to trials like the Netherlands, Australia, Germany, so on. How early do you think we can get this started in India? What sort of a time frame would we be looking at uh, in case this were, were to go to trial? See, this is already in India. We immunize every child, every newborn with BCG. That means we have at least some amount of stock. So I think if we want, we can start from tomorrow to the high, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, those who are high risk uh, population, for example, the doctors who are already taking, uh, taking care of the COVID patients and the health workers and the, uh, you know, uh, you know, household, uh, you know, people, those who are taking care of the COVID patients. So basically, we can start as early as tomorrow if uh, government wish. Right, right. Finally, Professor, what is your sense of getting a vaccine ready, one specifically targeting COVID-19 alone in, say, the next six months to a year? For example, the Remdesivir, which was developed by Gilead Sciences, uh, that seems to show promise. Also, the broad-spectrum anti antiviral Telerone is also showing mm -hmm. promise. Uh, your take on our options going forward and anything from India as well? Well, I mean, there, see, this is... Uh, uh, promise uh, unless you one can um, uh, generate the inactivated vaccine that is the one of the way to generate vaccine basically viral vaccines so basically inactivation uh, of the same virus mm. so one can generate but i do not know how far they are and what's the basis for their claim as this is a very new uh, new organism so i don't know what the basis of their uh, claim unless you imply you won't know this is uh, how effective it is however what i can say is in uh, if somebody has really looked at immunologically and the host uh, uh, response uh, if one can really de design good vaccine for example, what one we are trying right at this moment is the modified BCG and that expresses um, uh, COVID uh, proteins. And we are selecting the COVID proteins in such a way that the already neutralizing antibody they produce. So therefore, if somebody uh, generate a vaccine with rational, that may work. However, the if uh, simply generating an inactivated uh, uh, organism it may work or it may not work right right uh, thank you so much professor for joining us on this episode and thank you for your insights yeah thank you so much for having me